Yo, good morning, girls. Good morning. Nice sunny day here. Sea town, sea t whatever the heck Seattle is. I don't even know. Rain city, they call it. They call it Rain City. Um, say, did you have a good birthday, babe? Was it awesome? What did you love best about your birthday? Watching Rio. Watching Rio, that was fun, huh? Yeah. Did you like the movie Bellamia? Yeah. yeah. That's her bear, baby. Let's give it to her. But Sadie, you can share but with that later, mama. Got some uh, big news for you guys later that I want to share about Mr. Russell Wilson getting divorced and the human heart condition. So just want to share my thoughts on that, seeing some, some ugliness from, from people. So I'm going to break that down a little later for you. So stay tuned. Yo, what up, y'all? I just asked Sarah if she did any video today. She said no. So here's our video for the night. She's got a huge test tomorrow, the tease test. And she's been going crazy this week with just studying and all that stuff. How you feeling, babe? You got a chemistry test and the tease test. That's a test to get uh, to become a nurse. And so she got two huge tests. Her hardest course in class, chemistry, and the test to be a nurse. How you doing, babe? We can't even talk anymore because I'm just like, my brain is so... Overwhelmed with information. So. Yeah, you got to go to bed, babe. And I'm gonna go to bed earlier than normal. You've been studying like crazy. Any study tips yeah. for people? How about any tips for studying a whole week, or two weeks, and then being a mom? Have an awesome husband. Like I am not like, no, for <laughs> real. Like I haven't been a good. I've been. A, how do I say that? I haven't been like the number. Can't even talk. I haven't been a hundred percent at the wife and mom duties this week because of everything that I have going on with school. But Alejandro has totally picked up all my slack. He's done laundry. He's done dinner. He's done. He does breakfast every day, anyways. But just thankful for this guy. Cause for real, could not do it for myself. I don't know how single moms do it. I don't know how parents do you it. You are alone. awesome, single moms. I don't know how parents do it alone without somebody and single dads. helping them. There's a, quite a few ladies here that are in the nursing program who are single moms, and I'm just like, how in the world do they do it? And I go crazy, and I just can't imagine how they just are treading through all the muddy waters, but they're doing an amazing job. So it's been a crazy week. I had, like, I'm sorry I didn't videotape, but I just, I'm so focused on what I've got going on, and you're getting really close to me. But I'm just excited. I Like, the next... Uh, 16 hours of my life are going to be completely full of stress and I just want to do well but I feel like I'm way more prepared this time for my both my chemistry and the T's than I ever have been before so hopefully that's all going to pay off tomorrow she's going to do this she's got this so earlier and you don't have to chime in but maybe you will I said that I was going to talk about Russell Wilson getting a divorce <laughs> All right, so I'll make this quick. So people may think because I'm a 49ers fan that I'd be like super happy that Russell Wilson uh, is getting a divorce from his wife. That sounds super crazy and horrible and mean, but there are actually people out there that are happy that he's getting divorced and making fun of him. And he posts like scriptures every day and like how can he like talk about God and get a divorce, blah, blah. Listen, I don't know the whole story, but therefore, I don't have anything to say negative or positive about it. So we don't know anything. I always tell everyone, my wife, people I know, there's always two sides to the story. You have no clue what she did, what he did, what they didn't do, and I hate the Seahawks. I really do. Um, but I like Russell Wilson. And I don't care if it was Richard Sherman or anyone else. I've done video on Richard Sherman. Um, nothing but love. But it's like a lot of times us as humans, it's just like more of like a heart issue than anything else. Like how can we as human beings just be so mad and, and, and ugly sometimes when it comes to 
seeing other people fail. We get excited about that. And we just want to, they're on the ground. We want to kick them down more. And it's like, I just want to say that in all that we do, no matter if it's a celebrity or not, we need to like give people a break. We've been through, I've been through a bunch of junk and I've been a horrible person in my life. And I would hope that there are people, be people at that time that will go, you know what? He's down. Let's love on him. He needs us more than ever. And I'm sure he's got those people around him. But man, like where, how can we in our heart of hearts just go, man, like I'm happy he got a divorce. How dare he talk about Jesus and how she's ugly and all these crazy things that people are saying, just like, you know, he's getting a divorce because he's about to get a big contract and all these different things. But until you've walked a mile in someone else's shoes, then you can say something. But until then, there's two sides to every story. And I encourage you in every aspect of your life, be aware of these times where there's two sides to every story. And you can go, you know what? I don't know the whole story. And be okay with not knowing and quick and being, you know, slow to anger and slow to judge uh, people and be quick to love and quick to, you know, um, hope for, you know, have hope for that person and pray for that person and all that good stuff. So with that said, I love you. There's two sides to your story, two sides to my story. There's two sides to Russell's story. And just like, man, I was really disappointed in the human race when I was seeing these tweets yesterday. It was ugly. And if videos like this and you go out there and we could just love people more and if we have that in our heart to start with, that love, we don't ever need, to, we don't ever go there and, and, and hate on people as much. And so, love you guys. My wife's going to crush it on these tests. Ready, babe? Mm -hmm. Good night, guys. Love people. Peace.